Welcome to our True Parents Way video series, Peace Starts With Me. Our topic is, The Only Begotten Daughter Breaks Our Concepts. Now it is true, both, that True Mother did not receive any education, and that True Father raised her up. How can that be? True Mother was born the perfect daughter in the original creation in that respect without need for education. At the same time, she needed education to fulfill the positions of John the Baptist and Messiah, which are not part of the original creation. In those positions, True Mother is doing what she saw True Father do and what he could not do. I'll give an example. In 1972, ensconced in a house in the Bronx, Father Moon told his small group of believers that he would speak at Lincoln Center. They told him it was way too much, but it worked. The next year, he said, Carnegie Hall. They said, impossible, but it worked. The next year, Madison Square Garden. Two years later, Yankee Stadium, Washington Monument, True Father, broke our concepts. He gave us confidence in who we are. He galvanized us. So when True Mother said, in 40 days, I will speak at Madison Square Garden, what did we think? Impossible. But her message was straight from True Father. Give up your concepts. The world will listen to God's only begotten daughter. If you believe in me, we will fill the garden. Have confidence in God and in the principle and in yourselves. Stand up, proclaim who you are, just as I am doing. True Father is with you. Be proud of your identity, your ideals, your history, your vision, and the world will listen. To me, this is the biggest reason True Mother is repeating and repeating, only begotten daughter, only begotten daughter. She is saying, don't be shy. Stand up for your identity as I am doing. Be bold, be straightforward and unapologetic. Proclaim it and live it. As Jesus told us, the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. On July 15, 2017, at Madison Square Garden, there was no bow out of Whitney Houston. Instead, there was a blowout. Yolanda Adams, Hezekiah Walker, A. Curtis Farrow, thousands of singers and dancers. We turned the garden into the temple. First and second generation, we owned the Holy of Holies. Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Unificationist, all were one family. As John the Baptist completed Judaism, the only begotten daughter completed Christianity. And we who attend her complete Unificationism. She is our co-founder. Thanks for listening.